Hello guys. Today in this video we will discuss the differences between staphylococci and streptococci. How to differentiate them? It is extremely important to know how to differentiate staphylococci from streptococci because most staphylococci are penicillin G resistant. You can do three things to differentiate them gram stain, catalyst test and culture. Here I have drawn a picture to simplify the properties of Staphylococcus. You can see a bunch of grapes standing in cluster. This will remind you the morphology of Staphylococcus. On gram stain they appear as grape like clusters. Two cats are standing at the corner of the photograph which will remind you Staphylococcus is catalyst positive. For catalyst testing, rub a wire loop across the colony of gram positive cocci and mix on a slide with H2O2. If bubble appears, this indicates that H2O2 is being broken down into oxygen bubbles and water. So catalyst positive staphylococci are present. Here you can see the air bubble comes out of the cat's mouth which will help you to remember the catalyst positive activity of Staphylococcus. You can also see the gold medal around the necks. Aureus means gold. Staphylococcus aureus can be differentiated from other beta hemolytic cocci by their elaboration of a golden pigment when cultured on sheep blood agar. Now here are the picture of streptococci. On gram stain, streptococci line up one after another like a strip of button candy. There is no cat in this picture which indicates that streptococci is catalyst negative. There is no gold medal here so the formation of gold pigment is unique for staphylococcus. So in short on gram stain streptococci have a strip of button candy or pairs of chain like appearance and staphylococcus have a bunch of grape like appearance. Streptococcus is catalyst negative but Staphylococcus is catalyst positive and Staphylococcus produce golden pigment on culture but Streptococcus do not. That's all guys. Please like, comment and share and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.